see how fast it is it's uh, downloading the file from my local hard disk so it's much faster hey in this video i'm going to show how to download mac os Sera from mac app store using a download manager like aggregator free download manager or progressive download manager or any download manager you are currently using uh, why i'm doing this because when we download large files like uh, mac os Sera or uh, iMovie 1 GB plus okay any large files from Mac App Store it will take much longer to finish the downloading process uh, it's only using 5 to 10 percent of my total bandwidth and uh, it will take forever to complete the download and also after one or two hours the download will get uh, restarted again so it will act like an infinite loop and it will not finish forever so I find a way to uh, speed up this process so let's get started uh, you need a piece of software like Charles uh, web debugging proxy uh, Google for Charles web debugging proxy and it will take you to this page and you can download this software and install it Charles web debugging proxy it's for developers so, so you don't need to buy this if you like it you can buy it but it's a free trial for 30 days so you really don't need to buy this okay open that software i already installed it it's a web debugging proxy that means it will record the connections from your mac to internet every time and you can do many soft stuff with it this software if you're a developer you know what i'm saying okay then open the mac app store go to updates i'm going to download download the purchase software so this is Mac OS Sera. I'm going to click resume download and open. Okay, okay, okay. Let's click pause again and go to web debugging proxy. As you can see, uh, you need to look for this uh, domain, uh, particular this host OSX apps dot iTunes dot Apple dot com. So here uh, you can see a lot of folders and here is the file. As you can see the file uh, we, when we click post the connection is closed. So you need to copy the URL and open free download manager and add that URL. Okay. It is 4.77 GB. You can download. Click download. I already downloaded, so I'm not going to do that. When uh, the download is completed, you need to again come back here and right click and map. Uh, click map local. No, I think okay. Map local. Okay, map map local. Here you can see. Uh, the path of the server osx.itunes.com you don't want to do anything here and choose the downloader file from your drive yeah here is the file okay select that click ok and click resume see how fast it is it's uh, downloading the file from my local hard disk so it's much faster okay as you can see the installation file is created from the mac app store uh, so it was successful installing one minute three minutes installing less than a minute okay it's completed as you can see the installation app is uh, created by the mac app store and the whole process was a success so once again i'm going to repeat the process uh, you need to download this piece of software and look for osxapps.itunes.apple.com and uh, find the file and copy the url and go to your download manager and download the file after that 
right click uh, this uh, file and uh, select map local and uh, choose a path choose uh, the downloaded software uh, in from your local hard disk and click ok then uh, resume the download from the app store you are done ok this video made possible by openspeedtest.com an html5 based internet speed test application you can check your internet speed on iphone ipad smart tv xbox playstation etc any html5 capable device it will run a speed test on that specific device on that specific browser using native browser technology so you will get a better idea about how the browser works or how the device is capable etc check this website openspeedtest.com anyway that's it for now thanks for watching have a good day this is Vishnu bye